Malay uh, Heritage Centre and the Eurasian Association. Um, actually, I think the, uh, the students enjoy the trip because uh, they are at the age when they are uh, most curious about different things. And actually, um, this experience reminds me of my school days uh, when I actually particip participated in similar cultural immersion trips. So I think um, it's really good and meaningful to um, um, cultivate this sense of racial harmony in the students since so young. Uh, what I particularly like uh, about this trip is that they're all in one day and immediately one, one after another and then they get to see one culture all together and then compare that to the next culture. And then along the way we hear students saying uh, you know, they are similar and then some things are similar but different and they start thinking and then comparing to their own lives and what they have. So uh, I enjoyed that conversation and you know with the students and when they observe and their conversation they, they seem to enjoy that comparison and when they find similarities they, they love it. It's an enlightenment for them so yeah that's great. Uh, I think some of our students went to the Malay Heritage Centre and the Eurasian Association. Uh, personally, I could see the students being very excited when they went to the Malay Heritage Centre because they have never even seen an HDB, a modern HDB, not so modern HDB flat, uh, dressed up in um, Malay culture. And they also saw like a um, wedding, the wedding garb of the Malays and all that. So I think it was... Um, something out of their comfort zone for them. <laughs> yeah. I think overall for the uh, Malay Heritage uh, Centre and the Eurasian Community House, I think what they have been exposed to is something that is... Uh, uh, we see them around, the Malays and the Eurasian. But by visiting this place, uh, it's like a concentrated uh, kind of um, experience for them to really know the in-depth of what these two communities are doing and their lifestyles.
is very beneficial to us, uh, especially the uh, time chart and uh, like the motivational talk. The uh, time chart helped me like organize my time better and I can plan my daily activities. Yeah, and as well as for the motivational talk, uh, it was very motivational, yes. And uh, we really got uh, motivated to study harder for our O level exams this year. And uh, we really hope to get better grades and to follow the instructions that are given by the facilitators here. Yeah. Uh, it really gave me a lot of time to think about what I really want in detail for my O levels, especially so that I can set a goal for my own for each and every subject and reflect on how I'm doing currently. Oh, I think that um, the session was about goal setting was quite well because it provided us with guidelines about how you're supposed to craft your own goal and it's very important to do as with the guidelines you can craft a goal that is more practical for our own standard and yeah. So with a goal that is that is like more suitable for ourselves, it's easier to work towards the goal and achieve the goal eventually.